ancient forest of giant trees, with vicious arcane monsters prowling about. Just call it the forest. Yeah, the forest. Welcome to the forest, guys. We don't have uh, any baddies waiting for us, but I see some purple something other on the very far horizon. Oh, new music to get used to. New music. Gather tree. That's what okay, I normal wood. Well, I just want to make sure it's a new area. Oh. There's a new... New items about, perhaps. Or there should be, if they just keep if they give us normal berries and things. That'll be lame. So, first time here. I'd say on the... Immediate reaction, it looks remarkably, remarkably similar to where we were. Except for, obviously, the large trees. And whatever that glowing creature is in the distance. Could be a ghost being purple. Oh yeah, just like teleport at a huge distance. Oh yeah, it looks like a ghost. Yeah, it looks like it might just be our standard. Standard ghost. Red guy it is. He seems to be the standard one that we fought in Ghost Town. He has the same weapon. It has some serious impact. I'm gonna fall back and heal real quick. Heal. And he's toast. Yes. Just normal ghost again. That dark varnish on him, which I haven't used yet. Decay. Where the hell that is. Well, anyways, I suppose this tower is the closest thing to us, so we might as well... Might as well see what's there. My... Mana Potion. Put my... Lantern away so I can refill it. Ba -ba -da. Okay. Purple Oops. guy. Much easier. And we have our flamethrower again. Okay, I doubt we can enter this tower. Oh, maybe. Dolmen Crypt. And Mercar Miscellaneous Dungeons. Oh, a lot of magic crystals. More ghosts. Yeah, two. I guess I should have brought all the potions, but we didn't know. No. Yeah, I didn't expect for the whole area to be packed with ghosts, but they're your standard purple ghosts, so... Drink the potion real quick. Oh, right behind you, the other one. Fuck. Okay, it's some stamina so I can whack it. You just watch your health. Oh yeah, I'm fine. He's dead. That seem to be the only two. Great endurance potion. We'll take that. Um, Small sapphire. And okay. a flame rag. That'll come in handy. Flame rag. Yeah, they, they have a bunch of those. Mana stone, flame rag. I'm going to give you this large endurance potion. Oh, it's a lever. Oh, I, I pushed it. That's fine. Let's see what it did. Explore a little on this 
room, see so if maybe it opened a doorway of some sort. Like that wall that opened up in the other area. Well, nothing that's immediately apparent. Maybe something happened outside? I don't know. Perhaps, or maybe in the other tower, because there were two towers. So here's this potion. Maybe hotkey it if you have a free space, because it, it will... I have, yeah, I have several free spaces. Because it will immediately refill your, uh, endure, your um, stamina. stamina. In that case, here. Take these ones as well. These are the lesser stamina ones. It's better for you to have. Okay, so far nothing noticeable in here. With two of the exact same types of towers being back to back, maybe they're connected somehow. You know what else? You know what else we need? Yeah, the chickens. chickens. Little pearl bird babies. Babies. To explore with us too. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that cliff face over there would have prevented us from going <clears throat> in the direction of town immediately. Anyways, now that we can see, we see normal gilberries. It's fine. I use some more fighting to help my stamina. It's fine. Oh, we got some. We got some deers. Oh. Oh, there's a there's a red one like the yeah, vendor guy has. Oh yeah. Corrupted one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The scourge deer. There is. We could probably get its antlers. I would imagine. I've seen people in videos with helmets who had those uh those antlers on it. Oh, I do like these, like, ancient-looking ruins. Mm -hmm. Add a little something. Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah, stash. Supply cash. Wrong thing still. Pressure plates. Because there's a skill you have to get. I think I like the music, though, too. It's a little more ominous and powerful. There's a skill to place the traps, and there's another one to re re pick them up. But it was like a, I believe it was like a like an end tier skill. Is that plant me or are those gaberries? They're gaberries. No, Do those they? Aren't. No, they're not. Well, the crab eyes or something. Ah, crab eye. Yeah. But we need to work our way back around this way. There's a um, rich iron deposit. We have our first bandits up there, it looks like. A medium ruby. Oh. Well, we can see the town from here, or something fancy to the south. Yeah. Light work, guys. Did you see that, birdies? That's how you do yep, it. Yep, birdies. Now we just need to get them to change forms, pull our cart, and could kick our enemies in the nuts. Uh huh. Actually, we should have a few more episodes of the uh, Shield Hero anime to watch. That we haven't seen in a few weeks. What is in your yurt? Did we come over here already? Warren Hunter's cabin. We have not come over here already. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. So Cash. yeah, I don't know how to get up to that tower though. Oh, maybe that switch back up there. It looks like perhaps. But I want to check out this yurt before we get going in that way. Mister, large amount of space in your bag. Yes. Pouch overweight though because I've got 
What did he put in his pouch that made him overweight? Put that shield. What did you put in your shield. pouch? Oh, my pockets are overweight. Because that's why. Because they put the bag, the bandages together. I mean, that's no cabin. No. For one. It's a, little, it's a so large it's a, it's tent. It's a yurt. <laughs> it's called a yurt. It's I what know. the, um... Oh, oh fuck me. Oh. It's what the uh, indigenous people in Mo the Mongolians, it's where they live in. Yo, this dude is... <clears throat> it's not the, not the area for this guy, that's for fuck sure. Okay. There we go. That was my last potion. Look, another that's lantern. Cool. Ta-da! What is this thing? I want this fucking head on the wall, man. This thing is cool as shit. Fire varnish, spiritual varnish. Yay, we got another varnish. Yata. Loot that chest in his body. Elemental resistance potion. Cool potion. Some term ups. So I can drop this. There's a chest? Yeah, there's a chest by his body. No, there isn't. By his body? I don't see one. It says. Oh, oh the junk, junk pile. pile. Okay. I thought you meant the dead dude that was over there. There, it did say chest. I maybe I'm seeing things. Fuck those red dudes. What is that stat they cause? Haunted, ethereal damage and resistance minus twenty five percent. So we have some light colored dirt on this back hillside. I don't know if it's just. Coincidence, or if that's a path that we can walk up to get to the tower above us. That is not a path. It doesn't look like it. No. It's not a path. No. Because I did not see any anything open in that other tower after we pulled that lever. There's Berg. There's there's a mission to turn in for the alchemist chick and Sierzo, and then the village elder should be there as well oh it said i had eight oh maybe we had eight travel rations between us no i had so like, like five. i had 20 something oh, okay so i had five i said i had eight i mean this area looks like there should be some Something going on over here. It's like just ripe for some epic battle. It's like a natural arena over here, but there's nothing here. Definitely no path to aid us into getting to the wind tower. Or oh, the lonely tower. Okay. So hopefully abandoned docks. See I don't know, because the clearly marked road to get to Berg, we have to go way south along a series of roads and around. Now, if we go east from here, there's it's towards Berg, but the actual path ends at some docks. And we're right by that town, but there is not a clear path. So I suppose we will just go east and see what what comes. Because maybe, you know, we can just there's, get there without the road. I see there's like three over there. Yeah, there are three. Let's I almost see. bring one. I need to eat. Here, can you, can you take some of the stuff I found in the cache? Okay. So I can move more efficiently. I think I'm going to put down some traps since there's three of them. I like that last time I was able to get both of them with one torch blast. Yes. Speaking of which, refill torch. Get out bow. And get one of those fucking uh, pistols out and see what happens. Okay, get back here behind the traps. Oh, looks like he's by himself. There we go. Yeah, maybe we don't need him on the traps since there's only one of them. Okay. 
I won't use my uh I use my shield to For some reason when I was my like I wasn't facing him. Like I was locked on him, but I wasn't I wasn't facing and I can't block. Why can't I block? Why is my why is my game glitching? Like my block is not working at all. My right click is my right click busted? No. Yeah, I can't block. Hmm. I don't like that. I'm trying to climb the cliff. <laughs> Aha. Aha. Yeah, threw my shoulder out. Yeah. I can't I can't lift my shield anymore. Been. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess we'll just go fuck the archer up. So he's just gonna take it. He has no choice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fucking weak ass bandits. Oh, it does look like we can shortcut and get into town this way. So rather you go out the back or the front, we'll just keep going east and it should take us to the town right over here. And first day in the new city. See what we've got going on here. This door's pretty fancy. And that is her. Miss Risa Aberdeen. Forsaken, I'm glad to see you. Have you given my offer any thought? Will you work for me and be adopted into the Aberdeen family? I don't so much care about the last name. No. I'm thinking about it. Is there anything I need to do to make it happen? The Aberdeen family is one of the oldest and strongest families in the Collective. To help the process go smoothly, you should get the approval of another old family, either the Sutherlands, the Battleborns, or the Sullivans. Would do. Gabriella Sullivan and Julia Sutherland are close allies of mine, and Sagard Battleborn wields an especially large degree of power as a Chamberlord of Bird. It would do you good to introduce yourself to them. They may ask for a small favor to prove that you can bring value to the Collective. And I'm certain that they will all reward you in their own way. Once you have their approval, let me know and I can begin the adoption process. Talk to Gabriella Sullivan. She's got a little doggo with her. Ah, you Gabriella. must be this Gabriella. Ah, you must be the scout that Rise mentioned. I'm Berg's mistress of the hunt. If you need training in the art of hunting prey, my cousin near the entrance can teach you. If you want me to give you my family's approval, show me that you can handle the wild. Show me that you can make a fang weapon from the remains of your enemies. If you don't know how, the local blacksmith can teach you. As a matter of fact, I do already know how. I don't have the equipment currently. I actually want to make the fang axe. Predator bones. An iron axe. Browse shop. You have the axe. You do have the axe. Bam. You have predator's bones. You do not have predator's bones. But I know we have some elsewhere. Perhaps one of the other item merchants has the predator's bones. You don't know this, but off camera, we took, since we were leaving Cerzo, stored all of our goodies in Mandy's world so then she can act as our storage and fetch things whenever we need them without having to travel back all the way to the other city. Very convenient way to do it if you have a second player. I saw people saying that you could do it if you could play split screen with yourself with a controller and you could do it that way. Same difference. It's kind of a little bit of a cheat, but whatever. It gets the job done. Okay. 
okay. made. Talk to Gabriella Sullivan again. Is that a her fang doggy. weapon? What's that? Her doggy's, her doggy's not as cute in the daytime. <laughs> Here, let me hold it for a moment. This handiwork isn't bad at all, Forsaken. I feel comfortable lending my voice to your adoption. You'll make a great addition to the Aberdeen family. Here, a little gift from one hunter to another. Use it well. Oh, she gave me a better bow. Now, hopefully she didn't keep my axe. She did not, because I got an advanced skill to turn that into a horror axe. Bam. Achievement unlocked. Bones of my enemy. Well, look at this fucking, look at this weapon I got. Oh, it's made from one of those fucking gnarly dudes with the squiggly eyeballs. This eyeball is on my handle. Ta. <laughs> You spoke to my associates, then? Good. My offer still stands. If you pledge to work with me, I will begin the steps needed to adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline and free you from your family's blood price. Although, I don't know if that necessarily means that we are siding with the collective that she works for or not. We'll see. The Aberdeens are one of the oldest families in the Blue Chamber Collective, and our name carries a great deal of weight. It comes from great responsibility, but also many advantages. I believe you do us proud. Will you pledge yourself to the continued survival of the Blue Chamber Collective and join the Clan Everdeen, Forsaken? I guess that answers my question. Yes, I commit myself to the well-being of the Collective. What do you need? This is a turning point in my life, and I am certain I wish to pledge my life to the Blue Chamber Collective. Yes, I commit myself to the well-being of the Collective. What do you need? I knew I could count on you. Very well, listen. The other Chamber Lords are on their way here for a council meeting. Two major issues are at stake, both of which could cause a major impact on relations with the Sirico and Abrasier regions. It's too big of an event to go smoothly. I'm not sure what or how bad it will be, but I'm convinced beyond all doubt that something huge will happen. Something that could jeopardize the entire collective if we aren't ready for it. It will be a few days before they all arrive, however. Take the time you need to get used to life in Enmerker. And don't forget, Sirzo is still your home. Oh, give me a bunch of crap. Oh, Sirzo Town Key. I wonder if that'll unlock that dungeon. Here, as the newest member of the Aberdeen family, you should have this. It's the key to Sirzo. It should open any locked door in the town, as well as the small basement vault in our family home. Well. That doesn't really tell me much. Check the... Mixed Legacies. Risa and the city of Berg will have a task for you in three days. 